Look at this. Just in time for our chef on a shoestring, the North African porcupine heard that there was food in town. So there he is. Nice work, Ron McGill. <laughs> we are all getting together for a little Southern style Saturday brunch this morning, one of my favorite kinds. Putting it all together for us is Scott Peacock. He's the executive chef at Watershed Restaurant in Decatur, Georgia. His customers line up for his shrimp and grits, his famous buttermilk biscuits. They are phenomenal. And today, he is our chef on a shoestring. His challenge, of course, cook a tasty three-course brunch on our recession-busting budget of just $35 for four people. So good to have you here. We're taking a look at your Great menu right here. there. Southern Ambrosia, country baked ham and eggs, and Georgia pecan apple pie. Exactly. I'm in. I have to say, I love your restaurant. Thank having, you. Having spent five years in Atlanta, highly recommend it. Decatur's a great city as well. Uh, so 35 bucks for what sounds like a fantastic meal. Get and us good started. Stuff. Real good stuff. We're starting with classic Southern Ambrosia, a really I, classic dish. I think Ambrosia and I think marshmallows, and you tell me that's not the no, real one. No, no, no. This is the real one. Very okay. pure. Just citrus and um, freshly grated coconut. Okay. A little bit of sugar, just a tiny bit, and a little bit of salt. Salt Easy. actually helps bring out the flavor, okay, and some freshly grated coconut, coconut grate and a tiny bit of sherry, you know, and a little bit left for you to have a sip and if you'd like. I, see, I like your style, Scott, and then we just mix it up. That looks great. Very, very light, you know, and proportions that you choose, but okay. like it, very, very simple. This is the kind of ambrosia I could get used to. Okay, so it's as we move very, on, very uh, clean. Very move on down the line here, I'm gonna try this too. Then next, we're doing some um, eggs baked with country ham and cream mm. and spinach, which is really delicious and we have some spinach here that we already sauteed up in a little bit of garlic and butter, a little bit of onion. Okay, that goes right in we the ramekin. We put these in these ramekins and we've made some special cream here that's just a little heavy cream with little bits of country ham. So the ham that I see on this plate here, this we're just gonna country chop ham. this This is the real southern pieces. ham. We chopped that in little bitty pieces, just steeped in some cream to bring it up. What makes it country ham? Well, country ham is a real southern ham that's been uh, long cured and smoked. Okay. And it has a delicious and distinctive flavor and you can get it. It's available even in New York City. You can find Hey. So we put the these north. exactly into the oven, baked in a 350 degree okay. oven, and we've got a couple here that are all ready to go. I like that there's so much color in it too, especially this yes. time of year. It's great to see the citrus and then the green of the spinach. It's exactly, really and it's a very and it's a very delicious and sort of do ahead dish. You could do it up to the point of like uh, breaking the eggs and then baking it just a few minutes before your guests oh, arrive. That's perfect. And it's delicious, tender eggs, and the yolks are just a little bit runny. Okay, and that's great with a biscuit. See, I like that because I like to dip my biscuit in the yolk. Now we should say for folks who may not be familiar with you, you are known. I mean, you're known as a, as a southern food expert. Really, you've, you've won a number of awards, accolades, but your biscuits too. I would say are world famous. Oh, people like the biscuits. I love the biscuits. And you're modest too. Oh, you're sweet. I'm going to try your biscuits here. Please with the eggs. do. And then we've got the special thing. The thing I think uh, any meal and winter itself is just like is worth waiting for is to get your dessert. Mm. And this is the, re Year the round, reward. Let's be honest. I, I couldn't agree more. And we're making a special. This is a warm Georgia pecan apple cake. It's and one of my favorite things. We serve at the restaurant every day. And this is really important too because people think Georgia and they may think peaches, but pecans, oh, or, pecans or pecans. Are, I never know the proper way the to say it. The pecans are delicious. And have you had one this morning yet? No, but I would love to. Yeah. And they're such an important part of the state of Georgia. Exactly. And it's an important part of starting the day. <laughs> so I'm in. I'm all about pecans for breakfast. And I'm all about cake for breakfast, too, if you have a chance. Scott, your style gets better and better. Let me tell you, there you, you fit in really well here on the Well, thank show. you so much. So here we've got a little bit of uh, a little cake batter. It's really simple. Some unbleached all-purpose flour, some eggs, some brown sugar, okay. some cinnamon, a little nutmeg. The standards. Yes. And then we've got these delicious apples. It's a stiff batter. If you'll pour these in I'll here the and now, start. You use Granny Smith apples, which I see in a lot of pie recipes. Mm -hmm. And I have to say, they're I always see cooking. that and I think, but they're kind of bitter. Oh, no, no, they're, they're excellent cooking apples. Maybe okay. getting some bad Granny Smith somewhere. Wine saps are really my favorite. A little mm -hmm. bit less readily available, but this time of year you can still get them. Okay. And then, of course, these great pecans. This is a simple, you don't even need a mixer for this. You do this all in one all bowl. All by hand. Very, so. very easy. And just work it in Ooh, there. Oh, it is a thick batter. Wow. Yeah, it's a very thick. My goodness. Yeah, and it looks a little unpromising at this point, but I tell you, it, 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 it transforms I'm take and your gets word better. For it because I just took a bite of that biscuit, and let me very tell you. <laughs> Trust me. If the man can do what a cake, what he, with a cake, what he can do with a biscuit, we are all in good hands. Absolutely. And okay. let's just pretend that you've had a couple of minutes because to do this. Because clearly I need a little more time with that one. And but. then we would turn it into this buttered and floured pan. Okay. And we'd be in great shape there. And then we've got one here that we already baked. Coming out of the earlier. oven. Earlier. And then. Exactly. And then we make this delicious caramel glaze. It is very, wow. very simple. This is nothing but a little bit of um, brown sugar, some butter, a little bit of cream, a little okay. salt. And then you, you melt it and actually boil it up on the stove. And then you cool it down just a little bit. And you start putting right it, this it delicious glaze over. Yeah. Perfect. 
And this is good warm on a, on a brunch on a you know cold winter Sounds Sunday. Sounds good to me. Let's see. Let's see how well you did with the challenge let's here. Let's see. We're going to see how you measure up your grand total thirty-five dollar budget, thirty-two dollars sixty cents in our how low can you go challenge. Yeah, I, I think. I don't believe it. I think you are in, in first place with this one. Really? I like first place. How did you make all of this for thirty-two? Did you shop at the DeKalb Farmers Market and bring it with you? Truly a watershed moment. Look wow. This, and let me tell you, it is good stuff. That means that right now you are coming back, my friend, later in the I year. I can't wait. So we look forward to it. If Showcase like, showdown. Hey, how about that? We're going to get a big <laughs> wheel and everything. If you'd like any of our Chef on a Shoestring recipes, just log on to our website at earlyshow.cbsnews.com, where you can also get some of the behind the scenes from the Chef segment this morning, part of our new uh, video feature on our website. Chef Scott Peacock from Watershed. Great place again in Decatur, Georgia, just outside of Atlanta. Mm. Don't yeah. miss it. A little cake? Good, We're not going to miss the cake. Good yeah, business. The reinforcements yeah, yeah, no. have arrived. Good business. Oh, where are those biscuits? Yeah, and you I'm hoarding them down here.